how we thought about the use of quantum in the real world. We've always had quantum in textbooks. We, we, we have many quantum innovations. The MRI machine is a quantum in nature. The, uh, the laser is quantum mm -hmm. in nature. Lots of quantum. We've, uh, we've used them, but we haven't been them. able to really predict and utilize them. Yeah. You know, on any arbitrary quantum system. And that's yeah. now where we've come to. And that means that the world now has a superpower now, a new superpower. Humans have a superpower. This generation of humans is the first to have a superpower to do this at scale on real world types of systems. In the last number of years, um, our team and I, we've worked on real molecules from labs and UCSF, Nobel Prize winning labs. We've worked on uh, molecules from large pharma companies, spin outs, all kinds of folks working on battery chemistry with a company called Novonics, a public company that does battery chemistry, working on new materials for the U.S. Army. The U.S. Army wants to lightweight uh, the tanks. Car companies uh, that may announce soon want to lightweight their vehicles so that they're more fuel efficient. 